Hello viewers, welcome back again to today's class and the lesson today, the topic of discussion is the lives and contributions of the Kenyan leaders and we did introduce the early life of Jomo Kenyatta as the first uh, Kenyan leader. Now today we'll get to his political career, right? What do, we know, what, what do we get to know about his political career, right? From when he started in the, in, in the associ uh, association, uh, associations until uh, climbing high to the presidency. Now, what do we get to know about his political career? Now, one thing I need to, uh, again, uh, again uh, I, I need to tell you about Joma Kenyatta is that he was an elite, right? He, he went through an elementary school. That's why you, you saw him being... Um, being appointed, well, him working the size of farms and also him working the, in the Nairobi municipality uh, in the water department. Now, class, today we'll get to look at his political career. Your teacher is Roger Michira, and the station you're watching is LMU TV. Welcome all, and let us be ready to learn. Now, class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to give an outline, or we are, we are able to give an account of Jomo Kenyatta's political career. Now, getting to discussion, let's get to look at his political career. Now, Kenyatta started involving in politics back in the year 1920, right? Remember, in the 1920 is a, is, is a year when we had these uh, uh, political associations, right? The Kikuyu Central Association, the KCC, right? All those as associations, right? Those were... That's, that, that's the year when Jomo Kenyatta started in, uh, being involved in politics. So one thing we have, got, we, we have already learned that Kenyatta involved in poli started involving in politics in the year 1920. Now in the year 1920, he became the secretary of the Kikuyu Central Association, right? He helped in translation of words from English and Kiswahili to Kikuyu. His major role was to interpret. Remember I told you in, in his earlier life, right? Jomo Kenyatta had gone to school, right? He was now an elite. He was educated. That is why he was made the secretary of the KCA in the, in the year 1920. And his main role was to, and his main role was to translate words, or rather, he, 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 it was to, to interpret from English to Kiswahili and from Kiswahili to Gikuyu. We can get to see the the, 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 the KCA, right? They are seated. That's an association. They are seated, and you can get to see. Uh, we have got. Um, those who are seated, those are the members of the KCA. Then those who are standing, those were the leaders of KCA, whereby Jomo Kenyatta was one of the secretary. Then also in 1928, we have got the Kikuyu Centralization launched a newspaper, right? Megidania, right? And, uh, and in that newspaper, Kenyatta was its editor. And we said earlier that uh, Kenyatta was, um, was educated. He had gone to school. He had completed his elementary school. That is why he was able to be given a secretary of the KCA and also the editor of the Kikuyu newspaper, right? Meaning he was, he was educated, he was an elite. You can get to see the newspaper, right? So meaning it, it, um, it mainly touched on the issues affecting the Kikuyu people. That is why it was a Kikuyu newspaper. You can get to see that the big struggle began for, from African, for African freedom, right? So in him being an editor, that is where he outlined a number of the grievances facing the Kikuyu community. And again, another, another significant thing we can get to realize in his political career that in the year 1929, the Kikuyu Central Association sent Jomo Kenyatta to present their grievances in Britain, right? By the British government. So while in Britain, that is when, um, when uh, Kenyatta transformed himself as a Kenyan, uh, a Kenyan nationalist leader. Right? That is where his nationalism started back in, in Britain when he was sent by the Kikuyu community to present the grievances to the British High Commissioner in Britain. Right? Now, this is, where, this, this, is where, this is where in the year 1929 when he was in Britain, most of his grievances, most of his advocations were featured in the Sunday, in the Sunday Worker in Britain. And also, he became the secretary of uh, the International Friends of uh, Abyssinia Organization. This he was an organization of uh, uh, Pan-Africanist, right, from Kenya and abroad. Now he became a secretary of the IFAO. And also, from wh when he came from Britain, Kenyatta was elected as the KAU, right, Kenya African Union, president replacing, uh, now when he was elected the president of KAU, he replaced James Gishuru. Right now, Kenyatta and uh, and a number of his officials were arrested. That is the year uh, when 
KAU was instituted and also a number of the political leaders or leaders in the KAU officials were arrested. But again, one thing we get to note about Kenyatta is that in the year 1961, Kenyatta was released, right, after being detained for a number of years. In the year 1961, Kenyatta was released and he joined Kenya African National Union, well known as KANU, right? He then joined other nationalists in fighting for independence. But again, there is this, there is this issue of uh, did really Kenyatta fight for independence? Right? That is, a, that is a bone of contention because we get to see most of his life he spent in Britain, right? He spent uh, in Britain. But in Kenya, mostly he didn't, he was not that active as, as he was in Britain. Now, in the year 1962, Kenyatta and other, other African nationalists, for example, we had uh, Jeramogi Oginga, B.A. Ohanga, right? Tom Boyer, Ronald Ngala, right? So the African nationalists attended the Langas House Conference including also we had Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana. So in London, they prepared the way for Uhuru. So on the 1st of June, 1963, Kenya attained internal self-government, right? You can get to see those people who attended the, the Lancaster House Conference. We can, see, um, we can see Kenyatta there. We can also see left to Kenyatta, we have got uh, Tom Boyer. Right to him, then we have got Jaramogi Oginga. Those are the people who attended the first um, Conference, uh, the, the first conference, house conference, the Lancaster House Conference. We can see that we can see them there. We can see Bihe Oanga on the front uh, row, right? Those are the people who attended the first uh, house conference. This is the conference that led to Kenya's attaining of independence. Now, for our task class, can we get to narrate the political career of Jomo Kenyatta? And for our reference, get to refer to evolving world, history, and government. And as always. The station you're watching is a Limu TV, your favorite learning channel. <laughs>